the only man in history to have been documented during his lifetime as a dwarf and a giant is Adam Rayner. Adam was a little over four feet tall when he was 21 years old. At the time of his death, he was over seven feet tall. His extreme height, however, was followed by many complications, including a severely curved spine. In 1899, Adam Rayner was born to average-sized parents in Graz, Austria. Rayner wanted to enlist in the army when World War I broke out, but he was considered too small and frail at 4 feet 6 inches tall. Rayner attempted again a year later, and while he had grown a full 2 inches, on the basis of his height, the army rejected him once again. At the age of 19, Rayner was considered a dwarf, standing 4 foot 8 inches tall, being nearly 2 inches below the minimum height required to enlist in the army. Despite being quite short, medical records from the time reported that, for his height, Rayner had abnormally large hands and feet. He wore U.S. size 10 shoes when he first attempted to enlist in the Army. His feet doubled to U.S. size 20 three years later, while his height remained relatively unchanged. This all changed at the age of 21. Suddenly, Adam Rayner started growing taller at an alarming rate. He grew from just under 4 feet 10 inches to a shocking 7 feet 1 inches over the next decade. Rayner also started developing extreme spinal curvature during this time. What was the reason behind this growth spurt exactly? Several doctors studied Rayner's condition between 1930 and 1931. The doctors determined that Rayner was suffering from a rare condition known as acromegaly. His problems were being triggered by a tumor in his pituitary gland that contributed to the body's overproduction of growth hormones. This was the reason behind his unusual appearance. Rayner not only had abnormally large and wide hands and feet, he also had a larger than normal forehead and jaw protruding outward. His large lips covered up widely spaced teeth. Despite believing that the chances of success were slim, the doctors agreed to operate. With the tumor growing over a decade, they were not confident in being able to help the giant Adam Rayner with his condition. A few months after the procedure, Rayner was remeasured. His standing height had remained the same, although his spinal curvature was more extreme suggesting that, although at a much slower rate, he was still growing taller. The health of Adam Rayner began to deteriorate. In his right eye, he went blind and started developing hearing loss in his left ear. His spinal deformity became so pronounced over time, Rayner was limited to remaining in his bed the entire day. He died at the age of 51, measuring 7 feet 8 inches, although his height was listed by some newspapers as 7 feet 10 inches. He is the only man in history to be categorized as both a dwarf and a giant, and this all happened to him in a lifetime that spanned only 51 years. Thanks for watching this video about the life of Adam Rayner. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this.